All right, I'm about to crack open a Thai coconut. I got my tools here, and we're getting ready to whack it until it gives me beautiful coconut water <laughs> and coconut meat. So here we go. Ah, success. Yay, rip this bit open. Ah, yeah. Can we see the beautifulness? Now I'm going to get the coconut water out of this and then scrape out the meat. So here we go. Alright, so this is the tumbler I'm gonna put it in. So I'm just gonna pour this in here. This is my morning tonic. Alright, I have some vitamin mineral green here and some barley grass juice powder. And I'm going to put some of this in there. Got a good spoon. Here we go. I'm going to put a big old teaspoon. An even bigger teaspoon because I love this stuff. I need to get some more. The vitamin mineral green just has such a malty flavor. It's so delicious and I can't wait. I want to get the the um, greener grasses one by Health Force because I've heard that one tastes the best. I can't imagine anything tasting better than the vitamin mineral green though. So, so delicious. So I'm going to pop the lid on this, and this is my tonic, you guys. I'm going to shake it up, and that's what I'm drinking this morning. Yay! Now I'm going to get the meat out of this coconut. i got to get a bowl. I love these really small bowls. It's like perfect for the amount of coconut meat that you get out. But I was thinking last night, and I thought, you know, I used to buy those Harmless Harvest coconut waters, when in reality, you're paying like, you know, $4.50 or whatever for them, the big size, and you're not getting any meat. But you can get a Thai coconut, I got this one like for like $3, and you get not only the water, but you also get... The meat out of it so I'm pretty much only gonna buy the Thai coconuts you know unless I want a harmless harvest but it's a better investment and also I feel like the coconut water is fresher and it's just different the Coco Jack it's just opened up a whole new world in terms of these Thai coconuts I mean it's just so awesome it's so easy to get this meat out it's kind of fun too Alright, and plop it in the bowl and keep going in. This is a little bit time consuming, but not too bad. And I'm probably not a pro at this. <laughs> I just kind of do the best I can with it. But yeah, I'm taking the coconut meat out and um, it's going to be a great day, you guys. So stay tuned for what else I eat. Oh yeah, you can also take a spoon in one of these guys. If there's something in there that's hard to get with this thing, you just get a spoon and really you can get in there at a better angle some of the time. So yeah, spoon helps. Hey you guys, so this is a random uh, vlog or whatever you want to call it. I have been having these random memories come back to me. And it's so crazy. It's like lately in the last 24, 48 hours, I'll just be thinking about 
you know, nothing in particular. And then all of a sudden I get these blast of memories from my childhood. And I can't help but think, you know, that my diet is so clean and it's so um, good for brain health that, that, I don't know, is that why my memories are coming back to me out of nowhere? It's like I had one from junior high today and I was like, oh my god, I remember that. That's so crazy. So I had to do this vlog because I don't know, it's just crazy to have memories like that come back to you and I just, I don't know. Do any of you guys that are raw, do you have memories that come back to you? Uh, memories from long, long ago? I don't know, it's just crazy to me. So that's my little pondering thing and I know I look, probably look crazy, but oh well, we're not going to pay attention to that. <laughs> so yeah, let me guys know. Have, have you guys had memories come back since going raw? All right, you guys, it's lunchtime, and I got my big bowl of oranges. Look at these navel oranges. They're so pretty. And I'm going to enjoy eating them. Bye bye. <laughs> you guys, it is so cold outside. It is freezing, and the snow here is kind of melting. Well, it's really ice, and it's melting so far. Just what I've seen in my uh, parking lot. But, um... Guess what? I'm venturing out to Whole Foods, which I rarely ever go to Whole Foods anymore because there's a couple new grocery stores that are better, cheaper, faster, just better than Whole Foods in my area. But I'm going to Whole Foods today because it's fun and they do sell jicama. So I'm going to get jicama and guess what you guys? I'm so excited. I'm going to make raw sushi and I haven't made that in months because I don't know, it's just been out of my thoughts, but I went on my victoriavegan.blogspot.com blog where I used to post um, recipes, and then I started doing videos, and I was like, you know what, the videos are so much better. <laughs> but I went through all of my old uh, recipes, and I found so many that I wanted to make again that I totally forgot about, and one of them is sushi. So I'm going to shred the jicama, and then wrap them up in nori wraps, and I will show you later, but I'm going to get that, and then I'm also going to get some apples and dates for um, my boyfriend Zach. I'm gonna make him like this apple date recipe that I think he'll really like. So I'm excited about that. And yeah, so I'm venturing out in the ice. Look at this beautiful scarf. No longer for sale on my Etsy. I gave one to um, a friend of mine for her birthday. But I love this scarf and yeah, so I'm venturing out putting the car in reverse and I will see you guys later whenever I'm making my sushi. So excited. <laughs> so my dear friend from work gave me these tiles that she didn't need and I kind of just lined them up right here and it's kind of pretty just to look at. I might move these over. I don't know. I'm going to experiment. But I don't know. They're kind of pretty. It's I never really thought about that. Just buying tile like this and then laying it around and I think these go well. Anyway, what you guys really care about is this beautiful bowl of raspberries. This is my lunch, and I just got back from Whole Foods. I got a bunch of good things. One thing I'm really excited about are these sprouts I got. I'm going to roll them up in my sushi tonight. I thought it would be really interesting, and it has sprouted beans in there too, so I'm excited about that. And yeah, I got some jicamas. So I will see you later for my dinner. Sushi night! <laughs> I just shredded my jicama from the sushi and I have it in a strainer because jicama is so full of water and I'm going to do the wraps right here so I'm just going to pick it out of there. And then I pulled these out of the dredges, this, this big platter and I'm going to have the sushis all on these and I'm going to make a lot because I like to eat, you know? Right. I got my nori wrap here. I love these raw organic nori wraps. I sliced up my carrots, cucumbers, celery, avocado, pretty thin. And I got my jicama down there that I showed you. These are the most beautiful green avocados. I'm not sure what variety they are. But oh my gosh, just gorgeousness. And I might end up eating all, the whole avocado. I really don't care. I'm not a fat phobe. Um, and then, to make it Victoria approved. Oh, I'm also going to put these sprouts in there. But I also want to put some greens in there and I'm trying to decide which ones. I have green leaf lettuce. I'm going to do green leaf lettuce because green leaf just tastes so good. So let me get the green leaf lettuce ready and then I will show you how I'm going to do a wrap. 
Alright, so what I did here is I took some jicama and I put it right here. Got avocado, green leaf lettuce, some of these sprouts, celery, cucumber, carrot, and I'm going to roll it up. And you got to have a pretty sharp knife to cut these really well. And also, I've learned throughout the months of making sushi is you want to get stuff close to the edges, and I probably could have done better, but because whenever you go to roll it, if you got not really a lot of stuff in the edges like I did there, it's hard to have this, the ends of it be good as well. So yeah, I'm going to roll this up, cut it, and then I will show you the finished product. I would show you while I'm doing it, but it's, uh, it's really hard to film it that way. <laughs> Well, maybe I can prop up the camera on something. Here we go. I have no idea how that angle is, but I'm going to roll this steady. I'm going to call these nutrient bombs, especially with the sprouts. I'm kind of realizing I should have put the jicama in the middle because that can, that can pose an issue. But here we go. Got it rolled up like a burrito. You can kind of shove everything in each side and you just slice it and you might have to hold the end down and having a really sharp knife I mean that is just vital for this and you slice it and make sure it's gone sometimes this nori is hard to cut through there we go cutting at an angle helps too so actually putting the jicama all the way on the entire nori is what you want to do because then when you roll it, they don't look like this where the rice is only on one side. If you put it all over the whole thing, it's going to be in the entire roll. So this looks much better. Ah, yeah. Are you guys ready for this? It's all done. Now on this side, it goes from fail, <laughs> total fail to, ooh, Ooh, pretty you can see that my skills progressed as I went along but some of these are totally on the struggle bus and some of them are pretty good but that's just the nature of uh, the sushi rolls and then over here this is what I had extra so I'm gonna like munch on this as I eat this and yes I probably will eat all of this because if you didn't know Victoria's a little bit of a piggy pig and you know this is all healthy food and this is food that's going to make you vibrant. I'm not overeating on popcorn and chocolate. This is living food, especially the sprouts in there. I'm just so excited. And there's a whole head of green leaf lettuce in all of this. So I'm getting my greens in because I really hesitate going a day without getting my greens in because I just love them so much. So this is my dinner.